Hi and welcome to my channel, the I am a super user and today as part of our PFSense how to video series I will show you how to install Squid Proxy in the latest version of PFSense 2.3.2 and I actually already have the uh, video, uh, my old video already here on my channel but I'm doing this just to show you how to do it in the latest version of PFSense so let's go down here in the available packages and uh, as, uh, as usual you can browse or scroll down to the packages listed here the official packages and you can also search uh, for that uh, package like squid so we have result like squid, squid and squid guard so what we want right now is just this squid so click on install and then confirm and the installation should start immediately okay so after the installation is done it will show you a uh, it says uh, cleaning up cache done and it says success and when you click on the installed packages you should see now the uh, squid already installed <clears throat> okay so let's uh, check our dashboard so let's refresh so as you can see we have the squid and the dependencies uh, the clam anti clam AV antivirus it's already included uh, in our squid proxy installation okay so let's configure our squid proxy let's go down to services squid proxy server and let's go straight to local cache settings okay so I just want to leave the defaults on this part And then uh, on the squid hard disk cache settings, uh, this will depend actually on your hard disk capacity and your uh, RAM size. Okay, so I'm just uh, entering the values here according to my preference. So you can change and you can play with the settings actually. You can change those values and when you click on that little blue uh, icon there that, like it says that uh, information so there's a tips or some uh, suggestions for you and also some uh, definitions or descriptions of, the, of those values so again this will uh, some of this most of the settings actually here it will depend on your disk capacity and your RAM capacity so here in the maximum object size maybe I'll just select 512 megabytes here because I think uh, I have that enough RAM I think my RAM can handle it so I'm not uh, again I'm not saying that these are the uh, uh, most recommended uh, settings I just uh, play with this and change this later as needed you can also check the cache dynamic content and enter your cos custom refresh patterns it will help you to cache the Windows updates so I just enable that and will enter the uh, refresh pattern later and save this And after that, you go to general settings. Of course, you want to check or enable the squid proxy. And on this one, I just want to leave this and check or disable this because I want to wipe all the data and logs and etc. Uh, if ever I need to, uh, I needed to uninstall, reinstall, or upgrade the uh, squid so I just disable that so I just uncheck that proxy interface should be LAN 
and the uh, proxy port I just leave the default 3128 and of course you want to check or enable the allow users on interface and then um, you go down here in transparent proxy yes I want to enable the transparent proxy and the interface should be LAN I don't want to mess with the settings right here okay so let's go to lagging settings just enable this if you have enough uh, disk space because lags will take uh, some of your disk space yeah and here in the heading handling language and other customization I just want to uh, if there's an error or something will show to the user I just want to show us I am a super user or admin at as I am a super user and then just a save to apply the changes and settings that you uh, specified and right now uh, let's refresh our squid or our dashboard I mean and yes you can see the squid is already green that means it's running enabled and started <coughs> but uh, maybe you also want like me I uh, also want to verify that uh, if squid is really running under your network so let's do a proxy test to check if the squid proxy is really running on our network so I'll just paste here a URL it's uh, what is my IP address that comes slash proxy proxy check yeah. I know there's a lot of website to that can do this but yeah, this is just my test, an example. So it says uh, proxy server detected. So yeah, we can say that <laughs> we have that squid proxy running because it's uh, detected the our proxy. And another test is this one. Let's see. Wait. <coughs> So this one says that this request appears to have come via proxy and it actually uh, listed the name of our proxy the I am a super user with squid and the squid version that we have 3.5.19 so that way uh, we know that we have the uh, squid running in our network another thing that you can do to check and verify that squid is running uh, let's uh, SSH to our pfSense <clears throat> then of course you want to log in then uh, let's go to shell that's uh, the number 8 then hit enter and then in shell that just uh, type in this command I will paste this command uh, in our in the description of this video below Okay, so when you hit enter, you'll see this uh, TCP miss something like, yeah, those bunch of uh, lines here. And then I'll try to visit the website now. So every time you visit the website, if you see that uh, this thing here is populated, let me visit more website here. There. So you see those. Uh, TCP uh, refresh mem hit or TCP uh, uh, we call this uh, miss those things so if you see this like this it that means that your squid is being used and working as cache but if you will ask uh, what the TCP miss TCP hit refresh and those things uh, I can't answer that right now because that's a different topic and it should be covered in different uh, video session. Okay, so we're good with Squid. Let's enable our Clam AV antivirus. Let's go to services, uh, Squid proxy, and then the 
in the uh, antivirus uh, tab just check on enable AV and then I'll just leave the default here and you can uh, enter your uh, the URL or the redirect if you want the user to be redirected once the virus is detected so I just uh, enter my website so the user will be redirected to my website every time uh, clam AV antivirus detected the virus and I want to enable also the Google safe browsing <coughs> so if you don't know what Google safe browsing it is maybe you can Google it real quick yeah and the uh, database update uh, it's recommended that let's we have to set it every one hour to for us to use the Google safe browsing effectively and that's it just click save to save the changes <coughs> and when you go back to our dashboard you will see that squid clam AV antivirus and the ICAP interface for squid and clam AV integration is already green that means they are working they are running they are enabled okay so that's the uh, quick video guide on how to install and configure squid and clam AV antivirus and how to verify if it is running thank you for watching see you in our next video